I call the honourable the member for Brisbane. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Assistant Minister for Defence. I remind the minister that the electorate of Brisbane holds significant uh, defence industry facilities operated by Boeing, uh, GE and TALIS and employing hundreds of local people. Can the minister describe how the government is helping to support Australia's defence industry and reverse the effects of the previous government's budget cuts? I call the Honourable the Assistant Minister for Defence. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And let me thank the Honourable Member for Brisbane, a former Parliamentary Secretary for Defence uh, in a former outstanding coalition government, and someone who actually stands up for her defence community, someone who formally stands up for it. And can I say, the member for Wakefield will leave under 94. Can I say to the member, Labor has hit a trifecta. Labor has hit a trifecta. Last week, last week we heard that the defence secretary publicly confirming the truth that we on this side have known for so long that your 25 billion dollars worth of cuts had actually impacted significantly. Yesterday. Yesterday, we learnt the former Labor Minister for Defence, Stephen Smith, is reported to saying that defence reforms could not be fulfilled because of the acts you took to defence. And today, and today, a leading defence industry body, the Defence Teaming Centre, has said that the Minister for Defence, Stephen Smith, of the previous government, following the re-election of Kevin Rudd, transitioned from disinterested to disengaged. Well, it sounds a bit like Minister Conroy in the previous government, so disengaged he only connected 75 premises in all of WA. The Defence Teaming Centre further went on to say that following the announcement of the election by Prime Minister Gillard, a decision paralysis fell upon the government and the flow of work almost ceased. The White Paper came out with a promise of a defence capability plan and a defence industry policy statement but neither of those were delivered. That's the way industry viewed the former Labor government. It's dismal. It's a miss. 6,000 jobs lost. 6,000 jobs lost because of your cuts to defence. A massive capability deficit and acquisition pushed out to the never-never. But we know, we know there is a better way. This government, under the leadership of the Prime Minister, is taking a funding envelope for defence. And that funding envelope says there will be no cuts to the defence budget, as opposed to the $25 billion the former Labor government took out. There will be no cut to the defence budget. We will take defence spending as a proportion of GDP back to 2 per cent. Where is it now? 1.56 per cent, the lowest level since 1938. And any savings, any savings will be reinvested. We will ensure that the ADF is equipped wherever possible by Australian-made goods, consisting with getting good value for taxpayers' money. We'll make it clear that Australian businesses will be given every opportunity to compete for work because under this government, Australia is back in business. Under this government, the defence is back to being funded. Under this government, we'll get things done.